what are some ways where we can move people to arrive to harmony? I have some framework ideas yeah. uh, as far as a five-step pro- process. And, and, and one of them is I think compromise hurts people's finances. Mm-hmm. Compromise hurts people's finances because <laughs> nobody wants to lose. Right? Yeah. It's a, <laughs> why yep. start off from lose? Let's start it at winning. How about coming together? Used to be a song about that too. Uh, <laughs> I, I think Big Jagger did one, and I think I think it was, and then Mike did one after that. So let's let's start off with a a solution oriented. Yeah. Let's let's come together at a common goal that we want to achieve as a couple, and then we can start uh, hearing each other out far as perspectives are concerned. First of all, we got to agree to we got to agree to meet. Yes. I mean, we started we started that conversation a few minutes ago. Yeah. We we have to say, let's talk. Let's talk first. Uh yeah. we have to admit that we're not talking. And yep. if we're talking, we're not talking regular enough. And then it's that agree to agree. Yeah. And then hearing each other out. I'll start with those three steps and then yeah. I'll finish with the last uh, couple. What do you, what do you what are you what are your thoughts of what where, where how do we move people from conflict to harmony to where they can start get into some positive results. Yeah. I there there oh my goodness. This is we we are uh, this yeah. can be a financial therapy session, quite honestly. I know, brother. Uh, because we can start talking about different again, life experiences, scarcity mindset. Um, if you come from a background or a situation where it wasn't a we could always get another one. Right? Oh, we ran out of it. We can always go to the store and get X, Y, and Z. And let's say that you had a household where you have five other siblings, right? And it was literally a situation where if somebody got, you didn't get. So we have to then kind of consider how is that actually wired into us unconsciously now in the way that we engage when resources are limited? Because this is a thing that we don't talk about as relates to harmony. Hot and cold empathetic states. It's easy to harmonize when there's an abundance of resources because that means that in the abundance of things i get i can still get what i want you can still get what you want right however as we navigate lighting we navigate seasons where we may not have as much as we once did which means that certain concessions are going to need to be made Uh, but i'm not triggered yet because I'm not, because we've been navigating this abundant state where I'm getting everything, you're getting it, you're getting my time, my energy, my effort. Like we're talking about the relationship with a honeymoon phase, right? We're up on the phone until two in the morning. Like that don't <laughs> last forever. Eventually, we no. got to go to work, right? Eventually, stuff is going to come up in terms of the cyclical nature of our lives that we didn't necessarily experience initially. Where now my immediate needs are being met. This is no different than when I hear something on social media where there's like somebody says, Hey, how do you know so and so loves you? Or how do you know you love so and so? And then I'll hear these individuals say, Because of what they do for me. Mm. Right? Mm. They say it all the time. It's because of what they do for me. Then when someone does not have the capacity to continue to do for me, then a particular need is no longer being met. And then we can go down this rabbit hole of not feeling loved and all these other different things because I'm not getting time, gifts, affection, or whatever it may be. So my point is this. I think it's incredibly important for individuals to actually think about this like CrossFit or any other weight training program is that you're literally exercising a muscle for harmony and union in your relationship. 